गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर फाइन वेलकम टू माई क्लास माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर फिफ्टीन फन विथ मैगनेट्स नाउ दिस इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी वट आर मैगनेट्स एंड द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मैगनेट्स एंड आई वॉन्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू पे अटेंशन नाउ हियर आर टू क्वेश्चन आर आस्ड एंड सम पिक्चर्स आर ऑल्सो शोन सो हियर द पिक्चर ऑफ अ pin holder and fridge is shown all right and what are the questions a pins in a pin holder do not fall even when it is held upside down why is this so and the second question is while we are shutting the door of a fridge we find that it closes automatically from a certain distance and does not open unless pulled again why is this so so now you all have to answer these two questions and i'm going to give you 1 minutes time your time starts now All right, students, your time is over. Now let me uh, answer these questions. Pins in a pin holder do not fall even when it is held upside down because there is a magnet inside the pin holder, and therefore the pins do not fall down. Okay. And the second question is, while we are shutting the door of a fridge, we find that it closes automatically from a certain distance and does not open unless pulled again, because the fridge door has a magnet inside and therefore the door of fridge closes automatically the iron door remains tightly shut as the magnet holds it with force so that was the answer of these two questions okay so here also it is given a magnet is used in these gadgets a magnet is fitted in the cap of a pin holder and in the door of a fridge iron objects stick to a magnet so you all must have played with magnets and you know that iron objects they stick to a magnet so the pins they are made up of iron okay and even in the fridge there is the iron door okay and there is also magnet fitted inside a fridge so that it automatically closes okay so now what is a magnet so here the definition is given the material to which objects made from iron nickel cobalt etc get attracted is called a magnet this property of materials is called magnetism so students you have to remember this okay so what is a magnet the material to which objects made from iron nickel cobalt etc get attracted is called a magnet so not just iron objects objects made up of nickel and cobalt also are attracted to magnet okay and this property is called as magnetism i hope you all have understood this now let's try this take a magnet from the laboratory and bring it near various objects in your use uh, which of them stick to the magnet what material is each of them made of observe these things carefully classify the objects into two groups those which stick to the magnet and those which do not take a mixture of sand piece of paper sawdust iron filings and pins in a saucer and pass a magnet around the mixture what do you see so now this experiment basically it is done in the laboratory all right where we have the bar magnet which we use in the lab all right so over there what we have to do we have to take a mixture of sand pieces of paper sawdust iron filings okay in a saucer so here in this picture also it is given okay so in the saucer we have taken all these things okay paper then pins uh, then sawdust iron filings etc all right now when we pass the magnet over it which objects are attracted the iron pins and the iron filings are attracted towards the magnet okay so the materials that stick to a magnet are called magnetic materials and while those that do not stick to a magnet are called 
non magnetic materials so the metals are iron cobalt nickel are magnetic materials okay so only iron cobalt and nickel are magnetic materials paper sand okay a door wooden door wooden objects they are non magnetic materials okay because they do not stick to the magnet i hope you all have understood that now there is a very interesting story behind the discovery of magnets okay so i am just reading this and i want everybody to pay attention so there is a legend about the discovery of magnets it is said that a shepherd named magnus lived in greece so once while his sheep were grazing he sat down on a big rock but what a surprise he got when he tried to get up his staff and his shoes were stuck to the rock he had to use great force to pull himself away from the rock he realized that what had happened was because of the iron ferrule on his staff and the iron nails in his shoes however other rocks did not stick to his shoes or staff later he showed the rock to everybody so this is a special rock okay and the rock was named magnetite after magnes the shepherd so magnetite is a natural magnet it is also possible that the name magnet came from magnesia the part of greece where magnets were discovered okay so these magnets were discovered first in uh, greece okay it's a country so over there the magnets were discovered for the first time and this shepherd his name is magnes he discovered uh, these uh, you can say uh, rocks of magnet for the first time all right so i hope you must have uh, enjoyed the story okay short story about the discovery of magnets all right now next thing is asked how is a mariner's compass used okay so again it's a very interesting thing okay so like uh, in olden days uh, you know people they use uh, they were using mariner's compass to check the direction in which direction they are going so it was known quite long ago to the people in china and europe that a piece of magnetite hung freely always settled in the north south direction so these rocks then come came to be used for finding the directions while traveling through unknown regions that is why they are also called load stones or leading stones so what happens when you uh, hung a magnet freely all right then what happens it always settles in the north south direction always not in any other direction not in east west direction but in north south direction so this led to the invention of the mariner's compass so magnets can have a variety of shapes depending upon their uses today magnets are used in many machines and gadgets or devices they are all man made magnets find out where the magnets shown in the pictures below are used so bar magnets disk magnets horseshoe magnets ring shaped magnets cylindrical magnets are also uh, small button magnets are the different shapes of magnets in everyday use so you must have seen you know variety of uh, shapes of magnets all right so they are used for various uh, purposes see in uh, in these uh, pictures there is a mariner's compass also 1 2 3 4 fourth picture is of is of mariner's compass okay so the magnet it always hangs in the north south direction all right so various man made magnets the pictures are given over there now let us study about magnetism what is magnetism when a magnet attracts an object that object is displaced due to the magnetic force in places like factories ports garbage depots large objects are shifted from one place to other places for this purpose cranes with magnets are used work is done by magnetic force this shows that magnetism is a kind of energy all right so it is also a kind of energy because a lot of work is done using magnetic energy and see all the magnets they attract uh, the you can say magnetic materials because there is some force okay uh with these magnets so with the help of these force only they attract the other objects and we call this force as the magnetic force so each and every magnet has a magnetic force now characteristics of a magnet so we will learn about the characteristics of a magnet 
So determine, uh, let's try this. So you can see over here, the diagram is given 15.6, direction in which the magnet settles. Now, determine the direction in the class or laboratory, tie a thread to the center of a bar magnet and hang it from a stand. Note the direction in which the magnet settles and turn it around again. Let it settle and note the direction. Do this many times. What do you observe? A magnet always settles in the north-south direction. See, the red part is north, the black part is of south direction. So, it is always, it always settles in the north-south direction. The end of a magnet that points to the north is called the north pole while the end that points to the south is called the south pole. The north pole is indicated by N capital N and the south pole by capital S. Place some iron filings on a sheet of paper and pass a bar magnet over them. Pick up the bar magnet by holding in the center what do you see. To which part of the magnet do most of the iron filings stick? On which part do we see fewer uh, filings? Okay. So, here you all can see that towards the ends, the iron filings are attracted. But they are not attracted okay, towards the center of the magnet. So, the magnetic force is concentrated at the two ends of the poles of a magnet. So, see, it happens every time that always towards the end of the bar magnet, okay, the magnetic force is maximum and over there only the maximum uh, iron objects are attracted. So, it's, so, it is always towards the ends of the magnet. So, the magnetic force is concentrated at the ends of a poles of a magnet and that, is, that can be very easily understood in diagram number 15.8, characteristics of magnetic poles. Now take a bar magnet that can, that can be cut with scissors or a knife that can be cut with a scissor or a knife. Uh, take iron filings on a sheet of paper and place the magnet on it. Most of the iron filings will be seen to stick to its poles. Now cut the magnet into pieces as shown in the picture and place those pieces on iron filings. Now on 15.9, can all of you see these magnets are cut okay so more magnets from one are prepared so pick up each of these pieces and observe them if a magnet is divided what do you find if a magnet is divided into two parts two independent magnets are formed it means that the two poles of a magnet cannot be separated from each other so see when you are making two magnets from one magnet then these two magnets will also have the north-south direction. So, each and every magnet that we uh, we are getting from cutting a bigger magnet. Okay. So, finally see in the picture 15.9 we have got four short magnets. So, all these short magnets have north and south direction. Okay. We can't do this that when we cut a magnet then we will get only the north pole and the south pole. You cannot separate the poles. In a magnet these two poles will always be there. All right. So, I hope you all have understood this much, okay. So, now uh, that's it in today's class my dear students. Now, today's homework is you have to read the chapter very nicely, okay. Alright, and uh, what else you can do is, yes, so you can write these properties, okay, that a magnet always settles in the north-south direction. So, this is the property, one property of uh, magnets then the second one the magnetic force is concentrated at the two ends of the poles of a magnet this is the second one okay and the third one is if a magnet is divided into two parts two independent magnets are formed it means that the two poles of a magnet cannot be separated from each other so these three points you have to write in your notebook all right so that's it in today's class my dear students